Well guys, here we are today, working on the E53 X5. It's really hot outside. The brake caliper is sticking or hanging. So let me flip the camera and show you what's going on. Okay, so here we are. This is the caliper I was messing with. You can see how rusty it is. It won't push in. I got to come out a little bit by pushing on the brake pedal. It is so rusty, I tried sanding it. It's just not gonna come out of it. Um, I didn't have another one here. I did have one from an E38, as you can see right here. Looks to be exactly the same thing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try that and see how this goes. Hopefully it fits. Uh, if it does, we'll go ahead and re-grease the little pins, make sure it runs in and out, bleed it with the bleeder once they put it on, and see how it goes. Hey guys, so I thought I'd show you real quick. Uh, to get this caliper off, you actually leave the main part on right here. If you can see it, the sun's kind of on it really bad. Uh, there's two bolts. They're covered by caps. Uh, they're little Allen keys right there and right there. So those are going to be around the back side right in there. And uh, that's all you have to really take off to get this out. This one, this car is actually from Michigan, so it's super, super crusty. You can see on the bolt right there. I mean, it's uh, it's not too bad for Michigan, I guess, but for where at Missouri, it's pretty crispy. Let me go ahead and get this put on, and I'll come back to it. All right, guys, I finally got her done. Um, I couldn't video too much; my tripod is kind of junk. Um, so basically, like I told you, the two bolts right back here. It's really hard to see in this. Let me see if it'll focus in here. Not really. Uh, two bolts back in here. You take those off. You can probably see it better on the parts one. Uh, you can see them back here. And when they're out, they look like this. Like that guy. Just to make sure to grease those when you put them back in. Uh, the only thing I did was put those bolts back in. You have to put the sensor back in. He's down here. This thing just will not focus at all. Anyway, he's in there. Be really careful with him. Uh, I use the Modi Vac to suck the air bubbles out. I'm here by myself today, so it was not an option to have anybody else help. Uh, under here on the X5, that's under the cowl, is the fill. So go and fill that up before you start bleeding all the way to the brim. Once you start bleeding, it sucks it down really quick. Um, the brake pedal feels good at this point. I'll go ahead and put the wheel back on and take it for a drive and see what we got. Okay guys, we're driving the X5. I have to apologize. My camera holder is pretty shaky and pretty crappy. Uh, but it does work. So everything seems to be fine. It doesn't have the dragging feeling like it had before. And it was very slight, but it was just enough. Um, a good way I like to tell if you're having a problem with your brakes, whenever you stop from driving it, you get out and you feel the wheel around where it bolts on. Obviously, don't stick your finger in the uh, brake disc, but uh, just feel the wheel. It feels warmer than other ones. You probably need to check into things. Um, I'm going to drive this for about 10 more minutes, go back and check it, and... Uh, see if anything's warm, if everything looks all right, make sure everything's okay. Okay guys, everything's good with the brakes. I checked them, I just got back. Everything's nice and cool. Before they would have been hot. Uh, like I said, just be careful with the brakes. If you're driving a car you don't know much about, it's always a good idea to check the brakes, make sure they're not worn out, make sure they're not getting hot, make sure the caliper is not sticking, make sure the pads aren't wore down and so forth. Uh, that's pretty much all for today. Thank you for watching Nathan's DIY Garage. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, look me up on Facebook, Instagram. That's all. Thank you.